turning to the uh, uh, musicians uh, due to Quebec, uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Uh, Fortin, uh, Chief Executive Officer. Bonjour. Donc, je suis... Hello, my name is Luc Fortin. I am the CEO of the Guild des Musiciens et Musiciens du Québec, which is Local 406 of the Canadian Musicians Federation. The Canadian Musician Federation has 14,000 members who are professional musicians. And the Quebec local has 3,300 members. I'm very grateful for the invitation to speak to you today. I'd like to start by congratulating the government and parliament on its remarkable work during these difficult times due to COVID-19. Millions of Canadians have suddenly lost their job due to the crisis. You have shown creativity and compassion. Over a very short time period, you have created a series of exceptional measures which will enable all Canadians and businesses to get through this exceptional period. You've been dealing with short deadlines under pressure. It's normal to have to make small adjustments when certain situations are brought to light that perhaps hadn't been considered before. And one of these issues has to do with the CR CERB. This is temporary assistance for self-employed workers. It's a sum of $2,000 per month for four months. Now, our members who are self-employed musicians have suddenly lost all of their music gigs since mid-March, since concert halls have closed and gatherings are forbidden. And they all thought they would be able to access the CERB, but there's a problem. The current eligibility rules only allow those who don't expect to have any work income or self-employed income for at least 14 consecutive days over the initial four-week period to access the benefit and for the next three four-week periods. They cannot have any work in income for the next three periods. But in music, which is a precarious sector, contracts aren't regular and things can, things can change quickly. So, like many other artists, our musicians often need other sources of income to stabilize the situation. Even after losing the entirety of their main income, they are unfor have the unfortunate situation of still receiving, in some cases, small amounts of money from secondary work, which means that they don't qualify for the program because the rules are too strict. It doesn't, the rules of the program don't allow any level of income, even a tiny one. Musicians are going through a difficult period. They should have access to this help. We've received hundreds of emails and messages and calls from our members. They don't have enough coming in to meet their basic needs. They feel abandoned. Here are some of the many examples provided by our members. And I quote, after schools close, because of the pandemic, the school board decided to honor our private classes teaching contracts and continue to pay us every two weeks until June. I asked to not be paid because I didn't want to lose access to the CERB, but they told us that there was nothing they could do. And ultimately, I'm only getting $53 every two weeks. I can't live off that, and I won't be able to get to $2,000. Here's another quote. I am not eligible for the federal assistance program because of a two-hour teaching gig every week, which will continue to pay during the confinement measures. But I've lost all of my freelance uh, e income, which was about 23000 a year, so at least 3500 from March to May. The only solution I could find was to sublet my apartment, and I will be living with friends and family for about a year. And another quote, some symphony orchestras has offered to compensate musicians for con cancelled concerts by giving them 25 or 50 percent of the money they lost. These small amounts will be deposited in April and May. Now, if I understand correctly, even though I haven't been working since the 13th of March, I will not be eligible for benefits because I'll be receiving these small amounts for cancelled concerts. So those are the quotes. I'm sure you understand that this situation is counterproductive. And I'm counting on your creativity and compassion to find solutions so that all these Canadian workers who really need help can take advantage of the CERB to help them survive this period of crisis.
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much.